Hi there. Yep, that is me. Walking confidently to the computer, ready to dazzle. You're about to watch me, Harvey Richardson, do a time lapse of my lovely art piece. And as you do, I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing. Before we can time lapse, however, we must first compose the piece and thoroughly prepare ourselves. I had a photo of Noah where the light was good and I had one where the phone was fully visible. So the first step was to combine these to make a better image overall. I also had to make the phone bigger than reality so that when it came time to draw, I could get a good level of detail in the face. The photo was taken in darkness so the arms were not easily visible. I changed the saturation and then removed all the pure black from the picture because I knew the computer would then leave the imperceptible areas of black that were slightly lighter than where the arms were. I realised that this also allowed me to visualise my piece, and so I added a text box to the back. I then changed the background to the crimson red I planned on using to get a general idea of how the final piece would end up looking with black and white on top of the red. Thus, the composition was done. I soon got to work tracing the composition so that I could square the piece up. I only drew in key lines where the edge of a phone or thumb were so I could achieve a higher level of accuracy when it came to drawing. The darkness of the picture made it difficult at times, but with a torch underneath I was able to make out the important points easily. So, I used a scale factor of 6 and I began drawing the outline. It was very difficult to see the pencil on the camera normally, so I have changed the contrast. So apologies that everything else seems strange. The art is what's important. Once drawn, I had to add masking tape and paper to all the areas that I didn't want the spray paint to go on. But then, after that, it was time to spray. I used an entire can and the last leg of the second, but I was able to get a good coating on everywhere where I wanted it. When peeling the tape off, there were a couple of points where it ripped or the paint got through, but there was nothing I couldn't easily deal with. Armed with two Conte crayons, the drawing began. I started with the nose, as a warm-up to get reacquainted with crayons. For the hair, I used charcoal to begin with. Long, bold lines inspired by Anastasia Sharenko's hair in her pieces, leaving space for some colour to come through. Getting the tone of the skin right was very important for me, so I was constantly doing marks to the black Conte crayon, and then adding double the number of white Conte crayon marks to slowly build up a tone that I was happy with. I then decided to add some white to the hair, where it would be slightly lighter. I did this with a swift motion using the white contact ground. He 
Here I attempted a trucking shot as I moved the Conte Croyon so that you could get a bit closer and see what I was doing. The camera is a bit shaky, but I think this actually worked quite nicely. I had to hold the camera myself for this one because the cameraman couldn't keep up with my swift hand motions. As can be seen here, the face has started to take on a nice shape, and any rough edges on the face have all been coloured over. The tone is starting to build up quite nicely, and I think it looks quite good, if I do so myself. The nose could be better though. At this point, where my cameraman got COVID, and he was therefore unable to help me in doing any of the close ups, so I was on my own, and this is why the remainder will just be time lapse. On the other hand, I did very dark edges and then made white lines on the black face to try and emulate the look of fingerprints. I added darker lines to the crease of the skin, and this was a similar process to when I was doing the hair. The firm was done with a stick of charcoal, and I tried to make diagonal markings that would leave space for colour to come through, like I had done with the hair. I also added a bit of background on the phone screen as well as the square that shows up around the face. The icons on the phone screen were hard to do, and really just relied on me getting a straight edge with the charcoal and a bit of white contact crayon to bring out the light. The wires being quite thin required a sharpened crayon, but getting the shadow right after that was pretty simple. I then did the outline for the arms and t-shirt, which worked well. I then went back and made some improvements to the other areas that I thought needed it. After some consultation with my teacher, I decided to add in some shadow on the arms in order to connect the two halves a bit more. Hey presto, 